Good morning, this is Sarah, your Imperfect Carnivore in the UK, talking to you today about should you go um, on the veganuary train? I'm not sure if it's veganuary or veganuary, but it's going vegan for January. I think you already know what I'm going to say, but in case you found me and you're on the fence, it's unlikely that you found this because they're censoring carnivore content now, so you're not going to find this by accident, but I'm still going to say what I think. Um... At this point, a lot of people will be thinking about doing veganuary. Most of those people won't even have heard of carnivore, which is a massive shame. I've done a video already why um, why I can't go vegan. Um, I highly recommend it. I don't have that many videos on my list, so you can scroll down to the one where it says, why can't I be vegan? It will take you seconds to find it. Um, that's why I personally can't do it. But I would like to talk, there's so many things I could say about this, but I'm going to keep it short. I have written down some things that I want to say about this to keep it concise and interesting. Well, I think it's interesting. Um, basically, let's look at this. Let's look at the plant-based pyramid picture. Let's look at that first. This is what they recommend that we're all eating like in January. Now, for a start, anyone with, with half a brain is going to work out that no one's going to stick to that because of the lovely processed foods, which I'm going to be talking about in a minute. That's what they want you to do. I take one look at that picture and I, well, my gut does somersaults. All I can see on there is gut wrecking fibres. I can see phytates. I can see oxalates. I can see salic um, salicylates. I can see uh, pesticides. That's all I can see. That's all I can see in that picture. I can see gut destruction. I can see joint destruction. That's all I see when I look at those foods now. After nine years of eating this kind of food, mm, single ingredient, normal, proper human diet, that's what I want. When I see that, I smile. When I see this, I don't smile. What is that? Let's have a look at another picture, what they recommend we eat. What do I see? What do I see in that picture? I just see hell. Yeah, interesting colours, and we've been brainwashed to think that's healthy. It's not healthy. Everything in there is just full of anti-nutrients. Try it. As my friend Daphne at Daphne Reloaded channel says, I'm not going to stop anyone being vegan. Go and do it. Go and do it for six months. See how you get on. But make sure you don't eat any of the processed foods. Just eat what's on there. Just do that six months. See how you get on. Because if you've got any kind of gut problem, um, and if you haven't, you soon will do eating that. I mean, just eating just one item from that picture there for, for a second and I'm not happy my gut's not happy but let's look at what I do like to eat let's listen to this now that is the proper human diet that what that's what makes me happy when I hear that and I see that that is what makes me happy but in reality let's keep all the anti-nutrients aside in all those disgusting plant foods that I've just shown you what do vegans really end up eating because they think they're going to do a whole food plant-based diet but it's only a matter of time a very short amount of time really that they're going to eat, end up eating this shit let's get it up on the screen this is just an example I know not everything in there is completely vegan but there are some things in that page that are vegan um, I know you can get things like nuggets which are only just vegetarian not vegan but the thing that really freaked me out was this. Have a look at this. Rawsome vegan dinosaurs. Rawsome. That's designed for children. What I can't stand is parents who force this experiment onto their children and give them that. I think most people up to age 18 can survive quite happily eating a mixture of stuff. Uh, that's not to say, that, I mean, my son who's um, 17, he's he's eaten a keto diet and he was very very near carnivore for about 18 months straight so all i'm saying is i don't recommend experimenting on your kids and particularly with a vegan diet let's look at that again raw some vegan dinosaurs let's have a look at the ingredients because this is interesting mycoproteins god they sound delicious don't they mycoproteins rapeseed oil so you've got some strange protein that the body may or may not be able to recognise as protein. Then you've got rapeseed oil, which is obviously toxic to humans. Then you've got gluten, which is some people are, you know, full on allergic to. Most people find an, an intolerance to it. Firming agents. Oh, I love having firming agents in my food. Pea fibre, carrageenan. 
don't know what it is, don't care, never going to eat it because I only eat my steak now. And sodium alginate, alginate, what the hell is that? I think that's really worrying that people are giving that to their kids and, and just not giving them just this. What's this? Ah, uh, just give them that. One ingredient food. Perfection. Why are you going to risk something that's got hundreds of ingredients? Oh, and let's see. When they've given up trying to create their own food, they're going to go out and buy this. What fresh new hell is this? Zizi vegan rainbow lasagna. Wow, that's amazing. Let's look at the ingredients list. Sunflower oil. Well, we know that's toxic. Spinach full of oxalates, fibres, and also where, it, where it's grown, it's going to be covered in um, pesticides. Or, or maybe you could just eat this. So I'm thinking, let's look at the meat pictures again. One ingredient, one ingredient. What do you think is going to be healthier for a human? I, I cannot believe it still amazes me to this day that people they've told people that all of this stuff is better for you and better for the planet and better for everything involved if we just ignore what our human diet is, our proper human diet, and eat this crap. The number of ingredients. Let's have a look at that ingredients list again and the Zizi Vegan Rainbow Lasagna. Let's have a look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? But anyway, I'm going to stick to my steak. So I think you know which way I'm going. I'm going down the carnivore route this January. I hope you do too. Um, if you've made it this far and you're still considering going vegan, well, that's up to you. Do it. As, as Daphne from D Daphne Reloaded says, just do it. Find out. You'll be quitting within a year or two, but go and give it a go. You know, it might save the planet or something. Anyway, that's me just talking about how I'm not going to go to veganuary and ruin my guts and my whole body. Um, so I know where I'm going. Anyway, you have an amazing day. You just eat your meat, drink your water. And if you don't, it's fine. And um, have a bloody brilliant day and thrive. Take care. Bye.